What's up all my Art 2 students? I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an introduction to the new assignment. Now I'm going to give you a heads up. I used to do this in high school and, and in college. Uh, it's a very simple complementary slash analogous color study where you apply color to a, an object uh, to make it look three-dimensional but instead of using black and white you're essentially using color to represent the a color to represent the highlights and a color to represent the shades of an object. With that being said, I'm going to give you guys some research uh, looking at colored pencil value scales and how to take those colored pencil value scales, how to render those to show stippling, cross-hatching, hatching, etc. and how to take those value scales on, that you create with colored pencil and apply them to a shape to start creating uh, the sense of value across the shape to give it a sense of three-dimensionality to create a form. The eventual final, you're going to you're going to create a you're going to create a composition with four different forms, and each one of the forms will carry two colors that will show the highlights and the shadows represented by two different colors. Essentially, you're going to pick out uh, two sets of analogous colors, two sets of complementary colors, and you're going to start creating you're going to start creating a value scale. Uh, of those colors. Okay, our two students, I'm going to show you guys the research I did uh, to begin this process of the forms of values, the color study forms of values. For what, I did, what I did is I went to the Google and I typed in color, color value, colored pencil, because we're going to start with just, uh, just a value study of color, moving from one color to another. And this is what I found right here. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to move from one color to another we're going to pick out two analogous and then two complementary and move from one to the other. These are very smooth value scales. These are pretty nice. These are pretty smooth value scales. And not to mention all these are complementary. But you're going to create four value scales, two analogous and two complementary. And then you're going to also represent four different rendering styles. When I say rendering, uh, what I'm talking about is how you apply the medium. This is a pretty smooth one right here. And it's actually, I found a bigger one as well. Oh, there's rendering. So this is rendering. We got hatching, cross-hatching, stippling, layering, uh, scribbling or scumbling, and then burnishing. I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, what am I going to do? Smooth, scribbling or scumbling, cross-hatching and hatching for y'all. And I, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get that done. And I transition from one color to another. Another example I did, uh, this, this is a bigger one. This is a very, very smooth transition from red to green. And as you can tell, the green was very intense on this side and it got lighter as it moved across and red is very intense on this side and got lighter as it moved across. Essentially, we're going to do this four times, but with uh, three more sets of colors. After we create our four value scales, we're then going to begin to take these value scales and apply them to three dimensional forms. I want you guys to pick out three forms. Uh, this, this is a sphere, a cube and a cylinder. Uh, I also did a sphere, a cube and a cylinder. And you're going to start applying the the different kinds of color from your value scales to these different ones. Like this is this is all the same color palette. So this is yellow to a purple. Uh, this is yellow to a purple and then like an orange to a purple. This is all the same color palette. So you're going to have three different color palettes on your rough draft. The first rough draft is going to be the value scales and the second rough draft will be three of these forms and that'll be the only. I'll actually probably split this up into two rough drafts. I'll be like the sphere and then two other forms. But if you do this, that'll complete the rough drafts in order to start working on your final. The ultimate goal is to begin to apply the value scales, the value scales to our forms of, forms of values. But we're gonna start replacing the values that we see here with color. So take for example, we're going to take blue and yellow and we're going to replace the shadow with blue and the highlights with yellow. So everywhere there's yellow, it's going to, everywhere there's a highlight, it's going to be really intense yellow. It's going to slowly fade out to an intense blue, and the blue is going to slowly fade out to the yellow. So we're going to start digging around, looking for different compositions for our final, copy over the final, and begin to apply the values uh, in color form to our final. All right, that's the introduction. If you guys have any questions, you're welcome to email me and ask. Also, the next two videos are going to show you guys examples of what I'm expecting from the rough drafts. If you have any questions about that, go ahead and email me and ask. All right, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing your work.